Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today I'm going to fulfill a request from Tracy, who someone who basically uh, has wrote, written me and decided wants to see the Surface Pro 3 uh, use ArtRage. Uh, and so here we are, my Surface Pro 3. I have it set up in this little uh, shallow angle here. And we're going to run ArtRage. I'm running ArtRage 4, and so I'm going to maximize it. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the layout is all here. Uh, we have your your color palettes to choose from here and your tools over here. Uh, it uh, If you saw my video about uh, ArtRage uh, for Android on the Galaxy Note Pro I have, um, you can see that this is a lot more options available because obviously this is a full-blown PC version. So, all right, so we'll take a look at what we got here. So I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to basically see what you can do. You can, oops, mm, oh. And I apologize, it did not detect my finger properly. There we go. So you can see with this, I can I can tilt the canvases in a certain, in a certain way if I didn't want to tilt the actual device itself. I can make it bigger and smaller. Uh, one real quick thing is I'm gonna do a new painting and I'm not gonna save that. And so here we have options to choose from. So the uh, it shows the default at 1296 by 864, but I'll use the window size. And um, being 1440 by 960. Well, that's interesting why I chose that because uh, the surface is a much larger resolution. But I'll just go with that. Um, options here: canvases. You can choose more canvases. And obviously, not as visual as uh, the uh, the the Android version. But you have a lot of options available to you. You have different uh, canvases, canvases for like say a fine canvas, and gives you a sample here to go with. You can load something into Trace, uh, and um, well, we can go from here. So I'll hit OK. So here we are. So here's my here's my drawing surface. So uh, first things first, I'll just choose the pencil tool over here, like so. Like so. And I'm going to choose a. I'm going to go red. How does that sound? A red color here. Or actually, I'm like this. Here we are. So I'll go and start drawing. So the one thing. This one, all right. Oh, before I get too far into this, there's one thing that uh, for surface users they may not be aware of. Is that Microsoft at one point when the when the Surface came out, uh, uh, the Entrig pen uh, that comes with it? It's not a Wacom for those who don't know. It's an Entrig pen. Uh, didn't have much fine tuning for the the stylus. Now they had come out with something called the Surface Hub, which we, when you run it, uh, basically allows you to. Uh, it's an enormous oversized application, which basically allows you to tweak the the pen pressure, which is awesome because beforehand. It just didn't have that kind of capability, and I tend to be lighter. Uh, I like I like a more sensitive I like a more sensitive uh, tip than uh, and I don't I don't have to mash my my pen tip onto the surface to to get uh, a thicker line. And so you can play with it here. So you can kind of tweak the settings here and kind of test it out to see what 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 kind of uh, options you have. So I'll kind of leave it at that. Um, options for the top button really the only thing you, you can do is which version of OneNote to run and the the what, what the Windows button kind of does uh, which you can basically turn it off uh, that's like that's new I didn't I just realized that's that wasn't there last time I looked at this that's okay so we're gonna go take a look back to art rage now and right, so I got the pencil tool going over here and uh, you can see I'm gonna try to go light go darker So you can see what the what the canvas option I chose is kind of kind of a, bit, a little bit grainy. Zoom in. I have no idea what I'm drawing. All right, use something more interesting. Let's see. So, what other tools we have here? Well, I'll go to the tools here. We have uh, standard menu options for for uh, for things. Um, let's see. What I'm going to do is I wanted to put the layers. So right here they are. It's a button for layers over here. Add a layer. I'm going to scoot this below this. So I'm going to go and now uh, I'm going to hide this one. 
Tap that, 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 uh, oops, that's the opacity. I just want to hide it. There we go. Let's go back to this one to choose. All right, I'm going to choose something that might be more CPU intensive. I'll choose this oil brush. I'm going to choose a kind of a brownish kind of color, maybe a little lighter so I can go over it. And uh, there's some there's different stencils I can choose. And that's something that and obviously the PC version has a lot more options available to it. So you have all these crazy stencils you can use. And I'm going to, I have a confession to make. Uh, I'm not a very good art rage user. Uh, I've only kind of dabbled around with it a little bit. Uh, so uh, you have to forgive me about that, uh, about not being able to use this program maybe as well as I could. But, um, you know, here you have your settings for, uh, you know, the tool I have chosen. And I can tweak them over here, down, oops, down here as well. I can kind of make the brush bigger and, um, and stuff. And I can hide these. If I just kind of tap these, I can get hide the, hide the, uh, uh, Hide the tools and get a, oops, that was interesting. I don't want to do that. Uh, I wanted to hide that so I can basically straighten out my canvas here. There we go. So let's go and take a look. So I'm going to basically, uh, I'm going to go light and then heavier. So this is to kind of get a sample of what the pressure sensitivity is like. Uh, now, the one thing about the Intrig, it does not have the level of sensitivity as, say, the Surface Pro 1 with its Wacom. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not a terrible stylus. Uh, it actually works relatively well, but for, for the more fic fickle artist out there, they may not like the fact that it doesn't have the level of sensitivity that uh, you may be expecting uh, from a drawing tablet. All right, I'm going to go with something interesting. Like that. that was just a paintbrush. I'm going to go and, uh, let's see, let's use this. I'm going to do a tube of paint to come out. And see, one thing I did funny is that I um, tapped on the screen here and, um, you know, well, inadvertently put things on the screen. Because uh, if I miss, I tap it behind it. I'll use green here, a oh, funny green color. Put a tube of paint down. Mm -hmm. You see, it's kind of got some, some thickness to it. I can make it really big. And see, what, see what's happening? I'm, I'm kind of accidentally tapping below that. So just something to be aware of. So a big blob of paint. Okay. And I'm going to use the spatula or the palette knife. Basically kind of spread it out. So you can see the kind of def I'm deforming the object. So you have that 3D look to it. There really is no noticeable lag whatsoever at all from what I can tell using this thing. Now the version of the Surface Pro 3 I have here is an i5 with eight gigabyte of memory and a 256 gigabyte SSD. It's sort of like the middle of the line version that they have. Um, so it, it, it handles things quite well. Uh, I, see this, I, don't, I don't notice any particular lag at all. Let's see, so what else we got here? Well, let's just use the crayon tool and let's use like a blue color here. So it keeps up with me very, very well. Uh, it, there's no lag in the program whatsoever. All right, let's totally go with the with the roller here uh, and kind of swoosh everything. So it is all chaotic here. I'm just kind of messing around, but usually, but, you know, this is always a good test to see how well the program can react with all the crazy things I'm going to put onto this thing. Uh, so stickers, put some stickers on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, how about some some flames, fireballs? And you can't go wrong with fireballs. All right, so let's get this. Uh, did I even choose that? Let's see. No, I did not choose that. Hang on. Fireballs. All right. So I will use that. And I think they're blue fireballs at this point. Let's go with the red one. Oh, there they are. Oh, there, I just put it on there. There we go. Put that there like so. I got a fireball. And uh, let's go with the roller here. Let's put some stencils. Put this down over here like so. So that's kind of a nifty little tool. Once again, I've, I've not played with this, so this is not the first time I've used it. So um, I actually don't know what I'm doing with this, so I apologize. Uh, so clearly there's a lot more features in the, in the, the uh, PC version that uh, I have yet to really play with. Uh, but it's, very, it's quite full featured. Uh, so let's just go new pan, clear this all stuff out. Uh, so... 
I'm going to basically choose again, hit it clear, clear all that out. And um, you know, once again, as you can see, the program keeps up quite well. I mean, there's, I, there's, I have I have no noticeable lag at all, which is really quite quite nice. The program really is is impressive. Let's just make this bigger. And some look at it over here. I'll use the paintbrush. Get some things going over here. Uh, let's just use a uh, purple color. I'll make the brush larger. Oops. That's something that I have to get used to. There we go. So I'm smearing the paint over here and still able to keep up all my vigorous motion so it's not lagging in any particular way. And I'll take the spatula knife and I'll spread it around some more. And I'll put a big blob of yellow paint. Rah, there, and I'll take the spatula knife, and the palette knife, and just go over it some more. Rah, yeah, there we go. So there you go. So that's, that's a nice look at, at using uh, the, the Surface Pro 3 with its Entrig stylus uh, with Art Rage 4. Um, you know, once again, I apologize for not being a very good artist, uh, but I wanted to show if there's any particular lag and just kind of throwing things down and wishing it around and basically seeing how it performs. <clears throat> there you go. If there's anything in particular you want to see that I may not have done, uh, that, that would better show this or you have a, some, a particular example of something, please let me know. Uh, you know, I'll be happy to do, to answer any particular questions or try something for you. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.